Thank you for joining us this, this afternoon. Um, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what organization you're coming from today? My name is Gerlof Langeveld. Um, I work for Ati Computing. That's a company in the Netherlands. And we give trainings, we do consultancy, and all in the area of Linux. Um, we are not bound to one of the uh, distributions, so we are uh, independent in that sense. Yeah, we give trainings on Linux from the very beginning till rather detailed, and we also give trainings on uh, programming languages. Mm -hmm. And what was your topic of your presentation today? Uh, that was uh, a talk about Linux capabilities, and uh, it deals with the fact that uh, every process has, uh, uh, even every thread in a process, has various uh, capability lists and uh, sets. So I tried to explain uh, how these are used by the kernel. Was this presentation aimed then at developers to optimize their code? No, it's mainly aimed at uh, system administrators. Really? Okay. Yeah. Can you can you explain more about that, please? Well, the uh, traditional Unix scheme is that mm -hmm. uh, if you are uh, running a process under UID zero, mm -hmm. uh, then the process can do anything. Yeah, even if the process only needs to um, kill be able to kill any process, mm -hmm. which is one of the things that a root user can do. It can also do all the other things that a root user can do. So it can boot the system, it can change the system time, it can do a lot of things which it's, which it's not interested in, mm -hmm. but still it can do all those things. And with capabilities, the Linux kernel has <coughs> made all kind of distinct capabilities that are normally only to be done by a root, root user, and you can even start a, a process as a normal user, but give him one or more of these special capabilities. So it's not the all or nothing approach anymore. Uh, you still can have uh, a couple of capabilities, but not all of them. What do you hope that system administrators get from your talk when you explain this? That they don't use the set UID bit anymore for okay. um, executables that are owned by root, because by that you uh, take care that such a process is started under UID zero and gets all the privileges it, it, uh, uh, that there are, even if it only needs one or two privileges. So uh, instead, you can use the set cup command, and with the set cup command, you can give an executable only certain privileges um, that are given to the user that runs the executable. Um, instead of all privileges. And you can also see that uh, standard commands that formerly run uh, with set UID root are now changed by the uh, distributors to commands that have the capability set on the executable program. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mentioned the ping command as an example for that. Mm -hmm. It's not set, U so it's set UID root anymore, but it's a command that has only the capabilities that it... When were these changes implemented? Already a long time ago in the really? kernel. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. But nobody's paying attention to that? No, oh, I okay. think it's still for system administrators uh, a subject that is not commonly known. And that's why I wanted to pay attention uh, to that. Talking a little bit more about you, what led you to focusing in on this? What was your journey to coming up with this topic? Is this, you know, just a lot of years of personal experience, or...? I myself uh, are the create, am the creator of the uh, ATOP tool, ah, okay. which is a uh, performance monitor. Um, and uh, ATOP itself is also running with set UID root. Mm -hmm. And I'm at this moment myself in the process of having a look to uh, transform the executable into an executable with capability set instead of set UID root. Yeah, because the ATOP tool also needs all kinds of special privileges. It needs to switch on process accounting. Uh, it needs to access certain files that are only allowed <coughs> if you have that specific capability. So that's why I, uh, I'm in the process myself to, uh, to learn about Linux capabilities. Could this be compatible with like the, a rule-based set like you find in SE Linux? Like, could it... could you tell SE Linux, start looking only for commands that are using 
the capability set that you describe, or is that something that's not there yet? It's, it's on another level. Okay. Yeah, this is really uh, the way that you um, try to avoid set UID root executables. It's Okay. Uh, that are executables getting all the capabilities, and you only want to uh, limit that to. Uh, okay. To give the, the capabilities really needed. Okay. To do the job. And how how much work would you say needs to be done? I mean, you've mentioned some like Ping. They have this capability. You're working on Atop. Would you say there are still many many executables that need this? Capability um, set or not so many of the executables that are standardly delivered. I okay, think. but you could think about, for instance, the password command, which is also a set UID command at this moment uh, owned by root. Um, is that really needing all those capabilities, or can you also make it uh, change it to an executable file that only has the specific capabilities needed by the password command? And in that way, you could also check other commands. Um, a command like su or sudo, they really need all the capabilities. You cannot change them. But other commands running as set UID root might benefit from, uh, from having only the necessary capabilities. I've learned something new today, right. uh, <laughs> which is no surprise because there's a lot I don't know. So, okay. um, as you know, um, this week marks our 15th anniversary of CentOS. So, I've been asking all of our speakers, um, you know, when was the first time you first used CentOS? I think uh, about eight years ago. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, I have it uh, standardly installed on my laptop. Mm -hmm. I'm running uh, 6.7. Uh, sorry, 7.6, of course, okay. uh, at this moment. And we also use it on, uh, on a lot of uh, practical systems in our training uh, facilities. But as you said earlier, you're not really tied to any one distribution. You're working with all of them. Well, or many we, of them. Right, but we have to choose one mm -hmm. to do our uh, lab, uh, labs on, and that's CentOS. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So, all right. Well, I thank you very much for talking to us today. You're I appreciate welcome. you coming in and uh, speaking. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.